Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna take a look at the Balboa BP-8 Spa Pack. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you're in America, then the BP-8 is not for you. At time of recording this video, the current model for the US market is the BP-7, and for the European replacement market, the BP-8 is the current model for you guys. Not a huge amount of differences between the two, but if you're in the US, then you're looking at the BP-7, and I've got a video for that underneath this video. There's a link there, and there's a link where you can purchase the BP-7 as well. If you're in Europe, then the BP-8, so this model here, is for you. So the whole idea of the BP-8 is that it's designed for the replacement spa pack market so if you've got an older hot tub your spa pack's given up the ghost then it's designed to be able to replace what you have so it can replace any of the bp spa packs it can replace any of the gs spa packs and there's just a side note on a bp 2001 if you do have a second pump that is dual speed then you'll need to replace like for like so you will need to replace it with another BP 2001 spa pack. Otherwise, the BP-8 is the model for you. In terms of compatibility, its size, its footprint, it will drop straight into the same location as any of those older Balboa spa packs. It will just screw on to those existing unions, so installation is, is really, really simple. In terms of what they can support, it can support up to three pumps plus a blower. And one of the new features of the BP-8 is that you can actually plug the Climate Zone air source heat pump directly into the spa pack. What this means is basically more energy efficient usage of your air source heat pump. If you've watched some of my videos on this channel about air source heat pumps, normally I control them by flow. So when the circulation pump turns on, it puts water through the air source heat pump and then the air source heat pump turns on. Now, what Balboa have done by integrating the climate zone, and I must note it is just the climate zone that you can connect, it becomes more efficient because you're actually turning the air source heat pump on and off through the spa pack using the spa pack sensors rather than just relying on flow. If you've got one of the digital displays, so the spa touch range, for example, you can also control all of the settings directly on that as well. So it's, it's pretty cool and it's, it's a very neat integration that they've actually done. As with all of the BP range, it supports the Wi-Fi connectivity from Control My Spa. And again, I've got a review of that on this channel. Search in YouTube, or you can use the link that is underneath this video. Okay, so in terms of the top side controls that you can use, you can see the extensive list behind me. But a summary of this is any of the TP range, any of the SpaTouch range, and then the new ones like the SpaTouch Mini and the SpaTouch 4, they're all compatible as well. On some of the older TP models, there is a particular software revision, and you can see that in the list behind me, if you're not sure. If you wanna double check, just get in touch. I'm always happy to help. When you get the BP-8, the chances of it matching the exact configuration that you have in your hot tub out of the box is quite slim, so you are gonna to need to configure your unit. It's pretty straightforward to do. And again, I've got a video of that, which is underneath here with all of the others, and you can watch how to configure a Balboa spa pack. The key to configuring a BP-8 spa pack is the inside cover. So on the inside cover, there's a circuit diagram, and there's also a whole bunch of different options that you can see down the bottom here. Those tables will tell you what setup modes you need to be in in, in order to support the various pieces of hardware that you've got connected. So it's just a case of following through on the table and working out exactly what you're plugging into the spa pack. So the BP-8 here, it comes with the AMP connectors, those white connectors that you can see inside of the box here. 
If you're on a older hot tub, you may need to rewire those connectors in order to be able to plug directly into the spa pack. You might be, for example, plugging directly into relays, or you might have a, a mini J and J connector on. You can't put those straight into a BP-8. You do need the modern AMP or AMP connectors. It's very easy to do, and you can get those separately. And if you're looking for how to wire those in, I'll put another link underneath this video with an article that I've written about pinouts and basically how to wire your hot tub correctly. So for me, I'm a big fan of the BPA. There's you know, very small minor changes in terms of the, of the BP7 unit. And remember, if you are in America, then the BP7 at time of recording is the current model for you. I like the flexibility of the amount of kit that it can support, right up to three pumps plus a blower. The direct connection with the climate zone heat pump is pretty cool. But the fact that you can replace almost all of the BP and the GS range with this product is definitely a plus point. Just remember, if you've got a two-speed pump on a BP 2001, you will need another one of those. Great spa pack, I like it a lot, and it's not too expensive either. If you're looking for where to buy, again, there's a link underneath this video, and I can certainly help you out. If you've got any questions, please do get in touch. You can hit me up in the comments, or you can get in touch via buildahottub.com. As always, I appreciate the view. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.